Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about communication process, introduction, definition of communication and elements of communication. This is my part 1 video which is useful for BSc nursing students as well as post basic BSc nursing students. So this uh, communication process uh, comes under foundations of nursing, communication and education technology as well as mental health nursing so in first year you can study under nursing foundations in second year you can study under communication and educational technology and in third year you can study under mental health nursing as well as this communication process it's important for a person throughout his or her lifetime before moving on to the topic if you are new to science easy tech channel just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates let's move on to the topic so communication the introduction to communication is the term communication is derived from the latin word communis communis means the meaning of communis is common communis is a latin word which is having the meaning that is common in general communication refers to the reciprocal reciprocal means uh, you are sharing your ideas uh, to one another so reciprocal exchange of information ideas facts opinion beliefs feelings and attitudes through verbal communication or it can be non-verbal means of communication. Verbal means orally you are expressing. Non-verbally means you are not talking. Orally you are not speaking out. But you are expressing it through actions. So non-verbal means between two people or within a group of people. So the term communication is derived from the Latin word communis which means common. In general, communication refers to the reciprocal exchange of information, ideas, facts, opinions, beliefs, feelings and attitudes through verbal or non-verbal means. It can be between two people or more than two people like within a group of people. Moving on to the definition of communication. Communication is a process by which the information is exchanged between individuals through a common system of symbols, signs of behavior. So here the communication is a process by which you are exchanging your information from one another that is between individuals by either by speaking or by using some common signs uh, or symbols for example if the person is deaf and dumb they will be having a special type of sign language like that uh, okay so the common uh, some um, some areas you will be using some special codes which have special meaning like that and all okay so it is a process by which information is exchanged between individuals through a common system of symbols and signs of behavior so this was the definition given in webster's dictionary communication is interchange of your thoughts opinions or information by speech writing or by means of signs so communication is interchange of thoughts opinions or information either you can talk it out or you can send a message by writing or sending an email or a whatsapp message whatever in writing in words you can put up or by means of signs uh, for example uh, the traffic signals uh, the traffic signs and all no suppose if they are having uh, like uh, uh, 30 if they are putting and if they are circling uh, it uh, so 30 kilometers is the speed limit uh, stop uh, okay and some danger symbols like that and also these signs and all no by seeing it itself you can understand what it uh, indicates uh, like that so this definition was given by robert anderson communication is interchange of thoughts opinions or information by speech writing or signs next we will move on to the meaning of communication communication is a process which individuals mutually mutually means between each other okay exchange their ideas values thoughts feelings and actions with one people or more than one people 
okay so you are exchanging your information with one people so that is two two members are involved or more than one people so more people are involved like a group so the transfer of information from the sender to the receiver so that it is understood in the right to context so here the sender is transferring the information to whom suppose if i am the sender and if i am going to send the message to some other person the other person is going to be the receiver okay so uh, whatever i want to convey it should be conveyed in a right way okay so the process of initiating transmitting and receiving information so you are initiating information transmitting and receiving information initiating means from the sender and through the channel either by means of letters through mailing or through electronic media email or whatsapp whatever it uh, can be so that is the channel of communication and the receiver who is going to receive the information so this is called as communication process which we will be detailed in the uh, next slide sir the means of making the transfer of information productive and goal oriented so when you are writing some things or when you are want to convey something it should have a some purpose and goal oriented and it should be productive so that the other person has to be able to understand what you are conveying next is the process of sharing information ideas and attitudes between individual so here you are sharing the information ideas and attitudes between individuals so let's see the communication process in detail so here referent under referent you have sender in the other side you have receiver okay so referent so you will be encoding the message and you will be having a suitable environment for sending the message through a proper channel the message will be sent through a proper channel and the, uh, the receiver will be decoding the message and he will be understanding it uh, and uh, um, the receiver will again send a reply uh, message or feedback so this is called as what communication process okay so sender message or channel of communication receiver and finally the receiver will be sending the feedback okay next we will see one by one who is the referent a referent what is referent a referent motivates the sender or receiver to share information message objects sounds sights time schedule ideas perception sensation emotion order etc that may initiate communication okay so it is a some instinct which makes the sender or the receiver to send the information for example a nurse citing a patient with difficulty in breathing may serve as a referent to the nurse to promote her to initiate communication with the patient for example the nurse is seeing that the patient is having breathing difficulty so what uh, the person has some difficulty so this is a situation so immediately the nurse goes to the patient and she will be asking what is happening to you okay whether you are feeling good um, i am thinking that you are having some disturbances in your breathing so when the nurse is going to identify it so that is an example for reference so similarly she can go to the patient and she can uh, tell if the condition is serious she can immediately communicate it to the doctors like that okay so this is what is called referent so next to moving on to sender sender is a person who encodes and sends the message to the expected receiver through an appropriate channel for example the same um, example we can have so the nurse identified that uh, he is having some other uh, patient is having some breathing difficulty so immediately he understand she understand the seriousness of the thing and um, if it is mild okay uh, she can connect an oxygen something like that uh, but uh, she, uh, if it is somewhat uh, serious the patient is having so much of distress immediately she understands it and she will be communicating the information to the doctor okay uh, so here a sender is a person who encodes and sends the message to the expected receiver through an appropriate channel so he can send the message through an intercom through a phone okay through a cell phone okay or uh, he can send somebody uh, to convey the message to the doctor whatever so these are all what various channels of communication so again sender is the source of message that is generated to be delivered to the receiver after appropriate stimulus from the referent 
next message so the message is the content of communication and may contain verbal non verbal or symbolic language perception and personal factors of the sender and receiver may sometimes distort this element and the intended outcome of communication may not be achieved for example the same message may be communicated or perceived differently by two individuals so here the nurse uh, the, in the previous example so um, she is uh, sending the message to the doctor that the so and so patient is having some breathing difficulty so you have to come and attend him immediately so like that uh, um, she can express it or she can uh, do a, she can send a message or if it is serious she can do a phone call to the doctor and she can express it okay so here the relationship as well as uh, the perception level of uh, both the sender and the receiver will be affecting the uh, communication process also in some instances next is channel a channel is a medium through which a message is sent or received by two or people for example uh, the way there are various channels to send or receiving the message like uh, seeing mainly your visuals uh, your sense organs seeing hearing touching smelling and tasting so while selecting channels of communication several factors must be considered uh, availability of channels uh, purpose suitability type of receivers type of message preference of sender on receiver communication skills of the sender cost for example mailing letters writing letters or uh, now uh, uh, we have a very fast communication e media electronic media emails uh, then um, whatsapp messages like that and so and so so what are all the various channels of communication so let us connect with our sense organs visual ch channel your facial expression your body language your posture your gestures your picture and written words electronic mails mass media etc comes under visual channel so your facial expression whether you are happy you are sad so um, uh, so your facial expression is very very important even though actors when they are acting also their facial expressions their body language posture gestures and all no are more important in order to make the movie very interesting like that similarly so when you are communicating also all these things are going to come under visual channel then auditory channel the spoken words the sounds the telephone or mobile communication delivering audio content radio voice mail etc should have some clarity in expressing what they are expecting if there is going to be some disturbances again the communication will be miss effective next is a tactile channel tactile channel means tactile means touch sensations so therapeutic touch etc so therapeutic touch is just for treatment purpose which gives warmth support um, to the comfort to the client next is combined channel so you will be using both audio visual aids uh, uh, consoling a person with a touch or and spoken words so all the things a visual channel auditory channel tactile channel everything you are combining and for making the communication effective you are using all the things in order to make the communication effective so next is receiver who is a receiver a receiver is an individual or a person who will be receiving the message and he will be decoding the message so encoding process is done in sender part whereas the understanding the message decoding part will be um, done that is interpreting the message will be done by the receiver okay a receiver is also known as decoder whereas the sender is also known as encoder so he is expected to have the ability and skills to receive and decode and interpret the message what has been conveyed for example the nurse is uh, telling that the patient is having breathing distress to the doctor means so the doctor has to perceive uh, the uh, seriousness of the problem and immediately he will be replying he will be sending a feedback uh, uh, within five minutes i'll be arriving it you just uh, continue with oxygen you connect uh, the oxygen mask like that uh, or you give some uh, decodron or any bronchodilator or any nebulization like that oral instructions he used to um, give either through phone call or um, he will be sending a message and immediately within five minutes uh, um, within the before the doctor is uh, through uh, telephonic instruction you can carry out the order of oxygen administration then once the doctor come he will be writing the orders in return so that uh, nebulization everything can be carried out okay so feedback it is a written message sent by the receiver to the sender it is most essential part of the communication okay so that the sender will know whether the receiver has understood the message correctly or not so a successful communication must be a two way process it is not only one way process it should be two way process where the sender will be 
getting the feedback means so that uh, he or she will know that the communicated message has been reached the receiver correctly so uh, these feedback could be either verbally or non verbal that's why even when we are taking uh, classes for the students also we will be telling uh, even in lecture method uh, it is not a one way method okay so only the teacher is going on talking and the students are sitting mummies is not uh, going to be fruitful so the teachers the students interaction is very very important so both sides the communication should be both sides in order to Uh, have a fruitful communication process so the feedback is very 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 important either the feedback could be either verbal or it can be non verbal so next is confounding elements so this is the last so these elements are not a direct part of the flow of communication process so confounding means the supporting other elements or miscellaneous elements which has to be taken into consideration so they are not directly it is not going to affect the communication process but indirectly they are having some amount of significance so what are they these elements are interpersonal variables of the sender and the receiver and the environment where the communication is taking place so what are the interpersonal variables are it can be the perceptions of the sender and the receiver the belief the values the customs the socio cultural background educational qualification and developmental levels emotion gender physical and mental health of the individual so everything will be affecting the communication process either from the sender's part or from the receiver part even if they are going to have some uh, difficulties like in uh, perception belief uh, the culture values their educational level developmental level emotions gender physical and mental health etc may significantly affect the communication process for example you think uh, you are going to address a group of people who are illiterate so you may be a you may be highly qualified suppose if you are going on going to talk in english uh, the others group they may not be able to understand what you are talking because they are illiterate they don't know english so in such a case what you have to you have to use the local language in order to have the communication effective and also the understanding level of the thing you have to of the participants you have to take into consideration that's why even when we are taking classes for the students also first we will be um we will be moving the topic from known to unknown first we will discuss the known facts from that we will be going on to the unknown facts hope this video is clear for you all so the my part b video i'll be dealing with the other uh, types of communication and all So if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i cards or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing related videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel